Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Tank and Trucker here. Well, I had a match uh, a couple days ago. I had the honor to uh, play with a friend of a friend. Um, a friend of mine, Tamari, he, uh, he's been in a couple of clans that I've been in. I uh, had a buddy that was on. Goes by the name of the Poop Cannon. <laughs> I gotta look. <laughs> I love his name. It's <laughs> it's friggin' awesome, the Poop Cannon. But um, this dude is good. He is like a super Unicom player, and he is wicked. Uh, he's in uh, T110 E5, and Tony was in another one T110 E5. And I thought, well, I'll change it up a little bit, but ugh, if I can talk a little bit and play my 215B, and um, we. Uh, we had one heck of a match, so I'll kind of speed up the tick-tock here to get it going. Usually on this match, most of your heavies go up here. The problem that you run into is if they've got artillery, which they uh, did not, thank goodness. Because usually if they have artillery, Artie will just sit there and rain round after round on you. They had a pretty good team, too, though. Too, though. I mean, their top two players were, sorry, but pitiful. Um, but, uh, they had some really good players. Uh, we pretty much, we had, uh, a, a lot of really good players, actually. Um, but, so we go up here where the heavies normally do. And, uh, the one thing about the 215B that, uh, I found out in, uh, past experiences is, uh, if they get a straight-on shot and pen your frontal, uh, armor your front or lower plate a lot of times they'll set you on fire and that's not ever any fun so I started out with uh, basically just standard rounds to see what I can do damage wise because a lot of times you get straight on uh, side shots like that which is nice and you'll notice I'll stop this real quick you will notice that um, every once in a while my tank will kind of jerk real quick or uh, at one point I actually stop because I had some massive lag spikes. It wasn't due to the uh, mods or anything. I just, I, it, it happens. So, anyways, um, I had some uh, real bad lag spikes. So, if you see my tank doing anything funky, that's why. Um, here in a little bit, I think I do switch over to some premium rounds. Because I started bouncing a lot of rounds. And uh, they had a T95 come rolling over the hill. And standard rounds on this, even if you hit them in the commander's hatch, uh, Capola's, it's, it's just not going to pen. And the E5 is not giving you a whole lot to work with other than his uh, uh, turret. So, you know, you got to try for that. Commander's Coppola there and gold rounds, premium rounds will do the best. And they're APCR, so, which I do love. And they don't lose velocity, so hits them pretty hard. So, anyways, I'll let it continue on. And I'm right next to the poop cannon here. And there's the T95. But you'll see several, several rounds come off the front of me because I've got a really good angle. Not enough where they can knock off my track, just enough where I can poke out if they hit me. Like that one there. T95 trying to hit the uh, the commander's coppola there. He just, just missed it. And you can see the green where it skidded off. But you'll see uh, a lot of rounds bounce off the front. If you get a good angle like this where they can't hit you in the side where they'll hit your track, knock your track off and put it through your front uh, drive gear, a lot of times it'll just bounce off the front. But if they hit you straight on the front, a lot of times I'm noticing it, I get set on fire. And a lot of times when I pull out, like that T95, I didn't have a chance in the world. This one I couldn't believe bounced. I think at that point is when I switched over to premium rounds. I'm like, what in God's green earth? You hit the side of a tank in the side with a round that's got as much pen as this does and it bounces. So, and this thing, you will squirt through your rounds pretty darn quick, especially if you're doing a lot of bounces. See, right there, I think I, here in a second, I got pretty fed up with just bouncing off his commander's hatches. Another one off his commander's hatch with standard rounds. Shit, I'll probably run out and end up doing premium rounds anyways. There, I put a standard round, but... So, again, so far, the Yag Tiger has bounced off me three times, and the T-95 has bounced off me. So, I've bounced 1,870 damage. Um, nothing's penned me. It's all been bounces. And um, it's because that, that turret, if you, if you get 
all they can see is your turret, oh, you're rocking. Uh, the front, if you got it angled, you're good to go. Like I said, those straight on shot lower plate, <laughs> well, you better have a fire extinguisher because you're going to get caught on fire. Yeah, it must. I just ran out of standard rounds. This uh, sneaky little bat chat come up through here. This is where I started lagging. That shot, not in a million years, I should have missed, and it started lagging really bad. I actually had to auto aim on him so that I could, because uh, when I had that one shot, I was aimed right at him. But by the time I actually pulled the trigger, he was already in front of my round. Of course, I hit it right on the, uh, you know, the upper plate, not the lower plate where I'm aiming. But he got permatract, so worst thing that can happen in any tank is you get permatract on a hill like that. You don't have depression, can get your gun down. And right here, I stopped for a second, and I went into my Windows and found out I, uh, it was actually updating Windows, uh, my operating system. It was downloading stuff, so that's what was causing it to. Uh, lag so bad so I shut that off real quick and uh, so now I bounced up uh, 2,270 damage and I've done 1,857 damage myself on this you'll see right down here normally it would be just the amount of damage I did but this is kind of a cool mod it shows the damage that myself and my team when you're platooned up have done so myself uh, the poop cannon, oh, I'm sorry, it was Space Ace that I was with. I am so sorry I said uh, Tamari. It was actually uh, Space Ace. Um, yeah, t the three of us together have done 6,271 damage, so not too shabby. Uh, but their team is dwindling pretty quick, so now it's just a matter of trying to get shots in and get as much damage as you can. And I figured I'm still pretty close to full health here. I'm going to start pushing hard, taking some risks, getting some damage. Right there. My mistake there is when he was his side was facing me, I should have hit him. I still do pen him. And I'm not even paying attention to the tortoise that's in front of me. He shoot, he, I think he either shoots me or shot at me. Yeah, he had shot at me, and then he started turning towards the other guy there. Feel bad. He could have taken him out. I kind of stole the kill from him. That shouldn't have, but we're, we're all working on this tortoise now. You'll see a round just miss me. And one of the other guys on my team took him out. So we're up to uh, 8,935 damage. 9,239 damage uh, between the three of us. So not too shabby. I think we do over 10. Yeah, because I get a shot in here in this 54. So 96.13. I did 3,857. I'm pretty sure one of the other guys. We, we don't get you out there. We just broke the 10,000 mark between three of us. Those, I, I've seen matches, well, everybody's seen matches where somebody will do, uh, I've done matches where I've done uh, uh, close to 9,000 damage myself, but I've never broke that 10,000 uh, mark, which uh, I'm kind of bummed. Got to keep working towards that. Between the three of us, we did 10,004 damage. I ended up doing uh, 3,857 damage, got three kills, and let me see. Oh, it's already... I was going to try and see how many kills we had all together because it doesn't show me up here. Um, I've got to hit tab to get out of there. And if I hit OK, it's just going to end the video. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I want to say thank you to Space Ace uh, from Mythos. It's uh, one of my old clans. Uh, actually, a pretty good clan. And um, uh, thank uh, the poop... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't say with a straight face. The poop cannon. Um, yeah, this guy, he, uh, he used to be an otter... Uh, Bulba, he's been in some good clans, he's a real good player, uh, like I said, Super Unicom, Space Aces, he's getting up there, uh, he's actually a very good player too, his stats are starting to really show it, he's, uh, he's catching up to me, and, um, I'm really impressed with how well he's doing, because when he started playing tanks, when I first, uh, got hooked up with him, his stats were literally red, I mean, as red as red could be. And uh, he started running with me and a couple of the other guys. And he's ran with other other players that are really good, too. And he's learned a lot. And he's come a long way. And uh, i got to say, I'm really impressed with how well his stats are and how well he, he's a He's a damn good player. So, yeah, the uh, enemy team probably didn't pretty much have a chance. I mean, we had it from the get-go. Uh, but you never know. I've seen uh, matches where the uh, enemy team says that they have... Uh, 10% chance to win and turn around and just romple stomp my team. So 
you don't ever go off of what the stats say. You know, somebody might be having a bad day. Somebody might be having a good day. Somebody might be in the right place at the right time and just sit there and pound the snot out of some, uh, you know, the enemy team. And uh, so you never know. I always consider it a 50-50 chance. I mean, heads or tails, you can win or you can lose. It can, it, I, you know, it's in the world of tanks. You got the random number generator, R RNG. And let me tell you, it's in full effect a lot of times. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video as much as I enjoyed uh, playing this match. It was awesome. Thanks again uh, to the, the Poop Cannon and uh, Space Ace for uh, teaming up with me. Uh, a couple of real good players there. So anyways, you guys be safe, and I will see you on the battlefield.